Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, there's a story in the book of Genesis about the night Jacob wrestled with God. It's in Genesis chapter 32. You may have heard the story. It's, the Bible says that he wrestled with God all night until dawn. And then the Lord said, let me go for the day is broken. And, and Jacob replies, I will not let you go unless you bless me. You know, that's not the only time in the Bible when someone was praying and God told him to stop, to leave him alone. In Exodus chapter 32, Moses is asking God to have mercy on the people. And then in verse 10, God says, leave me alone so that my fierce anger can blaze against them and I will destroy them. But Moses won't let it go. He keeps praying and asking God to give them a break. And in verse 14, the Bible says, so the Lord changed his mind about the harm which he planned to do to his people. You know, thinking back about the story about Jacob, his desperate, anguished prayer, wrestling with God all night, it accomplished so much more than he even could ever imagined. You know, all all he really asked for was that his brother wouldn't hurt him or his family. See, he thought his brother Esau was going to kill him. He had no idea that God would do so much more in answer to prayer than he asked. He never imagined that his brother Esau would run to meet him with tears streaming down his face and then hug and kiss him. You know, I found that God will often give us much more than we ask. And that's why we should pray with confidence, knowing that God hears our prayers and He cares and the answers will come. Sincere, persistent prayer will always gain the ear of God. I believe so much of unanswered prayer is because people don't have enough faith to persist, to persist in prayer until the answer comes. Jesus clearly taught that God honors faith and that he delights when we persist in prayer. Matthew 7, chapter 7, verse 7 says, Ask and you'll receive, search and you'll find, knock and the door will be open. Sometimes our prayers are answered much differently than we expect, But it's often that God has just been more generous than we expected. God will often give much more generously than we could have ever have asked or thought to ask. Ephesians 3.20 says that God is able to do far more abundantly beyond all that we ask or think according to the power that works within us. And notice it says according to the power that works within us. I wonder if that's referring to faith. Faith given by the indwelling Holy Spirit. Now, sometimes our prayers may be answered much differently than we ask, because as Paul says in Romans chapter 8, we don't always know what to, how to pray like we really need, and that the Spirit intercedes with groans that cannot be expressed. It's Romans 8, 26 and 27. And the Holy Spirit helps us in our weaknesses. For example, we don't know what God wants us to pray for, but the Holy Spirit prays for us with groanings that cannot be expressed in words. And the Father, who knows all hearts, knows what the Spirit is saying, for the Spirit pleads for believers in harmony with God's will. We always ask for so much less than we should. We ask so small. Maybe it's because we don't believe that God's willing to give us what we ask for. Maybe it's because it's easier to have faith for small things. I don't know. You know, my 14-year-old daughter, Graceland, recently asked for some money to help with something that she needed. She was saving her own money, but asked if we could contribute as well. And I asked how much she wanted. I knew that she was still $75 short, and she kind of sheepishly asked for $25. She had no idea that I'd be happy to give her the full $75. But why didn't she ask for what she really needed? I guess because she didn't think I'd be willing to give her that much. Even so, she still should have asked. And all I could have done was say no or give her a lesser amount. And the truth is, I was a little bit hurt that she didn't come to me for all that she needed. I think we often do that with God. I, and if only we knew how willing God is to answer our prayers and to give us so much more than we can even comprehend. We think too small, but our God is great and He's powerful and His resources are unlimited He wants you to ask for great things and he wants to give them to you to demonstrate his power and his faithfulness for the glory of his son, Jesus Christ. Now, on a side note, I want to say that 
importunate, persistent prayer is hard. In Genesis chapter 32, verse 25, we learn that even though Jacob prevailed in prayer and got what he came for, he was injured that night wrestling with God. He had a limp after that. Now, it's not easy to trust God and to persist in prayer. People might make fun of you for believing in God or for trusting Him. Pay them no mind. The devil will tell you that there's no use praying. He will distract you with other things. He will tell you that God doesn't care or that He isn't listening. He'll tempt you to sin just when you've made up your mind to pray. Tell that devil to go to hell. Resist him. God wants to answer your prayers. He wants to give generously and lavishly, so much beyond what you could ever imagine or even think to pray for. So pray big, persist in prayer, and trust God. May the grace of Jesus be with you. Amen.